Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel where I share mixed media techniques with acrylic paints. I'm Nancy B. Champion. In this video, I'll share how I used a controlled paint pour in my dimensional acrylic painting, Shoreline. A paint pour is an acrylic painting with fluid paints on an art surface that allows the paints to blend, flow, and mix, creating abstract, fluid images. A controlled paint pour uses the fluid process with artist direction to get this fluid abstract results where you want it in your composition. This video will include my inspiration, preparation for the paint pour, and my art process steps to create this beachscape. I needed a winter escape from snowy Colorado so I revisited my Tybee Island beach photos from previous trips. Tybee Island is located near historic Savannah, Georgia. I fell in love with the subject of diagonal waves hitting the shoreline, framed by misty clouds at the horizon line. Painting a beachscape is like a day at the beach. I created a quick sketch and quickly enlarged the composition on canvas using my memories and photo references. I applied texture paste to create three-dimensional diagonal waves, clouds, and beach sand using palette knives, stencils, and other tools on the canvas surface. I painted the entire surface orange plus white gesso. This will show through and influence other colors applied over and unify the painting. Using only purple and clear matte medium, I render all the dark and medium tones all around the painting in a monochromatic no-tan study. Not painting areas are the lightest areas. The area for the wet sand appears red in color due to the purple mixing with the orange underpainting. I created a limited palette for the painting that allows flexibility. I had created a study for this painting so I knew the palette well and added red. I used painter's tape to create the misty horizon line with the dark ocean. I quickly layered the waves and established the composition to get ready for the paint pour. To prepare for the pour, I pre-mixed pour medium plus water with the paints in small cups, mixing with a palette knife. The paint consistency is fluid and easy to manipulate and blend. I used blues, greens, whites, and tans to represent the reflected colors on the shoreline. 
I created a leveled area to place a canvas and placed paper under areas to catch drips. Next, I applied the pore medium to the area of the wet sand on the leveled surface. Using a palette knife, I spread out the pore medium on the space and quickly began the process of adding colors for water reflections over sand. I added colors, pouring from cups, dripping from palette knives and brushes, and dripping from fluid acrylic bottles. I applied darker colors in the foreground and lighter colors in the middle ground area. The underpainted surface will show through the swirls of color. Picking up the canvas, I moved the paint with gravity, adding direction and movement toward the shoreline. I allowed the paints to dry in a leveled position overnight. To complete the painting, I painted the stilt sandpiper and starfish in the foreground with emphasis on the diagonal shoreline area. I increased the brights, lights, and darks for contrast all around the painting. Viewing the painting from a distance helps with light and dark adjustments. I paint to escape, revisit, and give you the feel of place. If you like this video, please click to subscribe. Thanks for watching.